why do desperate measures lead to failure and despair and a step-by-step -step approach to success and feeling happiness and loving your life. I was talking to a mom of two teenagers and uh, the teenagers were having trouble with their skin like severe acne and because of that they went to a doctor and he prescribed them anti-conception. Well, and these girls, they're not into boys yet, so for that reason, the anti-conception is not needed. So I'm thinking like, why would you put the hormone system of 16 year old children out of balance because of acne? Because you are treating a symptom in that way and not looking to the root cause of the problem. So I was talking to this mom because she is very, very aware about these elements. She said, I know, but I mean, it's a struggle for my children going to school with this acne. It's like it's dragging on the day. They feel horrible. They have low self-esteem. Uh, they don't like the way they look. And I totally, totally get that. But the thing is taking just a pill to um, against the symptoms is not going to solve the root cause. And then the mom of course asked me, Inge, you're a nutrition and life coach, how do I go about? And I said, well, I think the best thing is to take it step by step because acne is mostly um, um, caused by sugar and, um, and gluten allergy. I said, so you just take it step by step to um, ad uh, adjust your diet. Um, there are also other elements like um, estrogen uh, levying, foods like soy, you don't want to eat that, T um, uh, bean sprout in English, sorry, you know, they, they stimulate hormones. And I was talking with her a bit and what I normally don't do, but this uh, woman, I was talking to her and she lives in a different country. So I was going through the options with her. And then she said to me, oh, but those are such drastic me uh, measures. And I have to talk to my girls about this and if they want that. And I said, well, I think it's better you don't take that approach. Because if you want to give them the choice between taking a pill, the only thing they have to do is take a pill, nothing else or changing their diet what do you think they're going to do if you're going to talk like oh we have to take drastic measures and it's going to be uh, really impacting our life on how we eat and how we have to prepare the food what do you think they are going to choose so I said this is why I normally don't give people this advice at once for whatever reason they come to me time management um, incorporating uh, energizing healthy habits into their life nutritional um, um, support or changing their meal planning how to incorporate nutritious healthy meal planning in their life I go step by step so and then within only eight weeks sometimes I work one-on-one -on -one with people and I do it for three months but then in a gradual way they actually change their diet and it's not drastic at all and then after already the first week they start feeling accomplished and get a lot of energy because they immediately see the change and it really adds a lot of nutrition to their life not only through the nutrition of the food but also because they're achieving something they're capable to change they're finally capable of making the changes they were aware that were necessary also already for such a long time so that's why I truly think that uh, and what I also see if people go to doctors or uh, functional medicine practitioners only for once and you get this great nine, nine, nine pages letter with advice, but then it's now what? So I able help a lot of these women who are really aware about their own health, the health of their family to actually incorporate it in their life, to get all these things that they know are right for them embedded in their daily life so they can truly feel healthy, energetic and they start enjoying just everything they have in life because if you have the feeling constantly that you're not capable of doing what you want to do for your family and your employer, you feel depressed, you're anxious, you feel time is slipping through your hands and that's what we have to get out of, right? We have to enjoy everything that we work so hard for, we have to love our life 
and food is a great way to actually use this to reach this point that you can start living by your gut feeling. If you want to learn more about this, because what I just told you, this step-by-step -step approach is actually a part of one of the three fundamental shifts I'm going to talk about tomorrow evening, Wednesday, 13th July, in my webinar called How to Live a Life Packed with Energy Without the Overwhelm, Restrictive Diets and Exercise You Hate. So if you want to learn a lot more about these successful hacks that I have to start living the life you desire, love what you always already have and be energetic, come to the webinar on Wednesday 30 July in Asia. It's at 8 p.m. So that's uh, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and it's 4 p.m. in Dubai. So I hope to see you there. I'll put the link above and in the first comment. And always remember that food is your gateway to living an energetic and fulfilling life.